Hi, and welcome back to the Agent Renovation Podcast. My name is Ashley, and I'm an award-winning realtor in Vancouver at Angel Hasman & Associates, a gamification and goal-setting expert, a master visionary, a strategic planning coach, and a seven-figure entrepreneur. I love teaching real estate agents how to win and pass the levels of the real estate game. I will teach you the strategies and the considerations for setting up your game, maintaining your game, and conquering new ground. Let me guide you in crossing the finish line of your real estate goals, putting dollars in your pocket, and teaching you how to have the personal life of your dreams. In today's episode, we will be talking about putting yourself first in the game. In your real estate game, you're going to pass a lot of levels on your way to becoming a top producer. It's important to know that because your real estate game is your own game and you are the only one in your game, your intention is not to beat others. Inevitably, you are going to rise above others whenever you make the move to the next level. However, even when you're rising above them, you're not competing against them. You want to look at it as you're simply passing others as you win and you get to go to your next level, but it's never really about them. If you look around and you see others behind you or still at the beginning of their game, it's simply a sign that you're progressing in yours. Don't worry about them. They're on their own game and they're not having the same experience as you in your game even if it may appear like they are around you in your game. They have their own levels and lessons to worry about, so don't you get caught up worrying about theirs. You may even learn some lessons through these people, but their game is their game, and your game is your game. This process is not about them, it's about you, and it is personal. It's just you and your business. Simply congratulate yourself on moving closer to your own goal. It is really important that you don't look at the real estate game as a battlefield. You are prospecting, you're leveling up, and you're doing what you need to do to become the best realtor that you can be so that you can have the best agent life. That's it. To be a winner in your own real estate game, you must decide to keep your energy and focus on yourself. You have the choice to use your energy to create your own real estate career or waste your character's energy focused on others and get trapped in competing. Just as you can't breathe in and out at the same time, you cannot create and compete at the same time. You must put yourself first in your game. Let me be clear and repeat this. You must show up for yourself. It is your responsibility to show up for yourself first and foremost. This is not just the most beneficial way to operate, it is the only way to operate if you want to win. That means that you are not competing with anybody else and that you're doing your own top priority tasks by focusing on yourself. In life, self-focused has been framed as selfish. Society will even shame you for it. Somehow, making sure that you're operating at an optimal level is less important than keeping others happy. The reality of this is this is herd mentality and it keeps you stuck at lower levels of the game. The system sets us all up to be the same, learn the same, and ultimately compete at the same levels. When it comes to your agent game or any area of your life really, this herd mentality keeps you stuck. And this is how you get everybody stuck at the beginning levels of life because they're not encouraged to put themselves first, not encouraged to create their own dreams, their own goals, because this would be stepping outside of the box and everyone else lives inside that box. If you haven't heard of crabs in the bucket, look up that story. You have been socially conditioned to not step outside of the box, as if staying in the box was self-preservation and what is best for you. I wanna be clear, you can't function optimally from an empty place, because if you've drained yourself by putting what other people think or what other people think of you first, that's exactly what you're gonna get, drain. How can we possibly be our best selves in this state? How can you feed your own goals when you're starved of energy because you're appeasing the herd? Caring what other people think is the largest pitfall in the game of life, but it can definitely get you in your real estate life too. It can take an immense amount of work to leave the herd. The gap between those who quote unquote make it out or make it ahead and the herd is actually massive. And considering the masses that make up the herd, it's actually shameful how few make it out or get to the higher levels of their life and career. Caring too much about what other people think has the opposite effect of contributing to a better society. When you live that way every day, it drains you. And then you're not the best version of yourself. You're not making your own life any better or anybody else's. Think about it this way. Most people are driving down the road every day and everyone is already honking at each other at 9 a.m. People are frustrated in their lives because they're not taking care of themselves. They end up living out their day as a subpar version of themselves because they started it out drained and they allowed themselves to get more drained throughout the day because they started the day with an empty cup. 
They had nothing to give from the beginning. Do this long enough and you'll be so exhausted and drained that you'll never get yourself out of this trap and this cycle and you'll end up just going to work thinking and assuming that you're gonna get more drained and exhausted only to come home, sleep, repeat, and dread doing it all over again. By trying to fit into the boxes and doing what others expect of us, caring what others think, and then most people end up getting back into their protective bubble of their car and end up honking at one another. They are people pleasers and hypocrites at the same time. This cannot be a long-term winning strategy. We need to stop being people pleasers, but not for why you think. It's actually the opposite. We need to stop being people pleasers and stop living for them because it's hurting your game. I was a people pleaser before too, just like everybody else. I changed my approach though, after learning how different it feels to operate from a place of putting myself first. I soon realized that I could show up in the world as a 10 out of 10 human if I filled my cup first. And when I did that, you guys should see what I started offering the world. When you no longer operate from a place of worrying what other people think and competing with others, you're going to show up as a better person and a better agent. And you're going to be able to serve your clients from a better place of joy. And guess what? You're going to be a joy to be around as well. And more clients will be magnetized right to you. You aren't the same person honking and yelling in traffic at 9 a.m. if you come to work with a full cup. When you learn to focus on yourself and invest into yourself first, you become the best person you can be. And when you do this, you're going to show up in the world differently. People will actually notice the difference in you. If everybody did this, the world would be a radically different place. If everybody put themselves first and interacted from a place of being their happiest, best selves, rather than competing and people pleasing, so many more people would be successful in their lives and have better results. This has been Ashley from Agent Renovation. And if you loved this episode, take a screenshot, share it to social, and always tag me at Agent Renovation. Bye.